Hey, you. You have too much space. Do you have too much space? Are you living alone in a 3,000 square foot house with just your dog? Have you been doing this for the past 25 years? Really? Some of us are guilty of still riding the McMansion roller coaster and ignoring the tiny living movement that's all the rage these days, and that includes me. In 2020, approximately 36.2 million people were living in single-person households in the United States. Additionally, there are over 23 million empty nest couples in the U.S., and even though kids are living at home longer these days, that doesn't make up for the fact that there's a huge amount of people with too much house. And if that's you, I'd like to quickly make the case that there couldn't be a better time to downsize than right now. Downsizing isn't a decision that should be made lightly, but it's timely. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. Con number one, the emotional attachment to your home is strong. It can be really hard to let go of a house where you raised your children and had some very formidable experiences. And if you're downsizing into a smaller home, it can also be hard to give up some of the stuff you accumulated that lives in your house with you. Con number two is finding a suitable replacement in the same location. Depending on where you live, you may run into issues with finding a home that is so close to family and friends. Con number three, it's a lot of work to move. Going through all of your stuff, making decisions on what to keep and what to toss or donate, and packing everything up can all be huge and draining. And if you've been in your home for many years or even decades, you'll probably be very surprised to see how much stuff you've actually accumulated over the years. I was in my first house for 17 years and I had way too much stuff. Even if you don't move on a regular basis, every two or three years, you should pretend to move just to get rid of stuff. You'll thank me when you do move for real. But let's talk about why most people might want to downsize. Number one, because it's liberating. Simplifying your space means less complexity, fewer things to keep track of, less to clean, and fewer moving parts in your life. Number two, it provides peace of mind for a lot of people when they realize they aren't leaving their loved ones with a huge sifting and sorting project once they're gone. In other words, when it's your time to take that big dirt nap, don't burn your loved ones with wading through all your hordes of junk. When I temporarily moved to Minneapolis, I took only enough stuff to furnish a one-bedroom condominium. When I returned to Atlanta four years later, I had a house full of things I really didn't miss or actually need. Number three, we can't forget the financial impact of downsizing. Having a smaller house not only means less of a mortgage, but it also means it costs less to maintain it and keep it heated and cooled. Having a smaller footprint is just less expensive overall, even if you wear a size 11 shoes. Get it? I'll keep my day job. So if you're getting thought to downsizing, you should seriously consider it in this extremely hot seller's market. Home prices have jumped nearly 20% from last year, so there's never been a better time to sell your home and potentially pocket the difference once you offload all that useless space. If you have questions, I'd love to help. Shoot me a message and let's chat about your concerns. No pressure either way. Thanks for watching.